Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education. And today, we are going to read about topic which is census alert. So, uh, let us go ahead and read about this topic. Census means the ability to think, act, understand. And an alert means you have to watch, you have to listen everything, you have to sense everything with alertness. It means with attention. You have to watch everything, understand and think hey, with attention. So, uh, there are five senses you must be knowing. One is sight, ability to see. One other is smell, ability to smell something. Other uh, Next is ability to hear, again hearing. Next, taste. Uh, and the last one is touch. So, these are all abstract means that you can only feel, you can't see. So you can't touch it. So yeah, these are all abstract, which abstract means you can only feel it. You can't touch it all. Look at the photographs on the pages 60, 61 carefully and imagine the following. The colors, shape, size, actions, etc. of what you see in the picture. The sounds or sound you may hear at the scene of the photograph. How the different things, birds, animals, etc. in the picture feed the touch. The smell or smells you may smell at the, scene, is at the scene of the picture. The taste of what you see in the picture. The writer is saying they are giving, a, he has given many pictures. So you have, to, you have to see it and imagine the following. The color, the shape, the size. An action they perform etc what you are seeing in the picture like a squirrel uh, is of color uh, yellow, you can say goldenish you know, or you can say brownish gold mm, having a line black color line on body what is he doing he's eating a cheese action etc the sound or sounds when you hear at the scene of the photograph like the chirping of the bird the eating of the food of the squirrel of the squirrel how different things birds animals etc and the picture feel to touch when you feel these and how how what you feel the smell or smells you may smell at the scene of the picture like when you smell the flower smell of the flower go rose flower what you feel the taste of what you see in the picture, the, in the picture you see then there's an ice cream or you feel when you taste it, uh, when you just feel the lemon which is lemon in the photograph, what you feel it, the sour taste and the I taste of ice cream is sweet. So the photograph shows a tiny, you see a photograph of a cat, the photograph shows a tiny black kitten just looking at something carefully, it's very soft, it's not taking any noise, it's not making any noise. So see the kitten, she's very silent, she's not making any noise at all and she's of black color. These are the things which you feel what you see when you look at the image. So you can say the color it is given, the action what it is doing, she's only glazing, she's only seeing in something out and if about sound, she's not producing any sound. In short, let your imagination include all your five senses. So, in short, you have to include all the five senses like sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. Note now, write short description of any eight to ten of your choice. So, now you can write a short description about them. Remember to make use of your senses one or more when you describe a photograph. You will find the following words and phrases useful. You may also use other words you know. So remember you have to make the use of your senses. Maybe one or maybe more than one. Whenever you are describing a photograph, enough, you will find the following words and phrases useful. You may also use other words you know. Means there are the phrases given. You can use it. So what you see can be whenever you are seeing what you see it can be like that big small tiny huge bright dim train dark black white orange green blue red yellow these are the colors round square rectangular zigzag straight crooked crooked means not a straight you can see 
or or in other word you may you may can say on opposite or you may can say he he or that is not he is not straight or you can say crooked colorful beautiful lovely wonderful etc it could be sitting waiting walking going flying swinging shining etc so what you see it can be like that it can be i see this big i see the small cat i see this uh, the big bird obviously it can be big bird like if you see a vulture i see the black cat hmm so what you actually i see the red flower red rose flower i see the girl sitting on the ta- on the chair on the table etc you can see light the sound or sounds may be sweet loud soft harsh shrill etc the sound can be a screech a crash a honk a whisper a sigh a scream a noise etc so <clears throat> the sound which you will be seeing it can be that sweet when you listen a, a word, when you listen a chirping of bird it can be a sweet like uh, you can say the many bird uh, cuckoo bird or you can call it as quail or the, the chirping of crow is very harsh to your ears this is a reference so you can use it the sound it can be screech it can be unpleasant a crash sound a honk me make sound whisper a very shrill sound very speak with very speak slowly and do so that no one can hear it like that you have to speak a sigh means a deep breath sound of that was so painful like this word to the touch things can be if you are touching the things it can be hot cold warm cool soft hard smooth firm rough wet dry sticky slimy etc example if you touch an ice cream it will be cold if you touch a milk a hot milk a hot coffee it will be touching hot if you touch wool or cotton it will be soft if you touch the cement it will be hard things may smell if you want if you are smelling something it will be like nice sweet good bad foul etc foul means unpleasant smell it will be strong fresh delicious or pleasant smell and you can you can choose from all these which kind of smell you are are mm, smelling at that time like when you smell a rose you will be smelling a pleasant a sweet a fresh a fragrance see the smell can be a scent an aroma a good smell a fragrance is also good, good smell uh, an odor a stink these are the full foul smell a bad smell things may taste sweet sour bitter salty nice etc you could call things cool juicy crunchy yummy tasty etc so you th- the things there are many things you may call out that is that it is sweet it is sour it's not too much sweet it's bitter nice salty heavy more salt and you can call out like juicy crunchy yummy uh, crunchy uh, you can say uh, when you are just each munch it is like munch is crunchy juicy when you eat a juice of any fruit yummy a biscuits and a uh, tasty maggie you can say etc you can use it so here also a photograph is given the photograph shows an incense stick burning the smoke is white and curling the sweet fragrance soon champa flower spread it's make me happy this is stick the incense stick from which you know, smell is coming out and um, they is just making a smoke like a like, uh, white smoke it the smoke which is coming it's like jump on the sweet smoke you can say and it spread all over the room and i and then you are feeling happy that i am feeling happy you can also describe about grapes a grape is in a green color it it may taste sweet it may taste sour and mm-hmm. when you touch it it's feel like very they are so soft mm-hmm. there is no smell of them still but when you eat you will feel so smell, smelly in your mouth 
sector you can write about the sheep a buffalo you can write uh, a sunrise so it seems so pleasant a rainbow is appearing it's one of the wonderful sight etc you can write more thank you class in